Look for the center point on the wheel. There should be a circle there. Take the clay and carefully place it exactly in the center. Tilt your hands into a triangular shape and begin to change the ball of clay into a cone of clay. You can turn the wheel by hand to keep it circular. Once it is turned into a cone or volcano shape, take water and begin to wet the clay. The clay is not stuck to the wheel yet, so turn the wheel onto a slow speed. Keep your hands tilted into a triangular shape and begin to push the clay down to the wheel. Make sure the clay always feels wet. You should be constantly applying water. After doing this for a minute, the edges of the cone should get stuck to the wheel. You should not see a shadow around the edges anymore. Once the edges of the cone are sealed, the clay is now stuck to the wheel. Now that the clay is stuck to the wheel, Turn it on full speed so we can raise it up into a tower. Wet the clay and hold your hands into a V-shape and slowly approach the cone. Keep your elbows locked and resting on your thighs. Keep your forearms locked on the splash guard. Keeping your hands still, give the clay a firm push and rise your hands upwards. The cone will gradually rise into a tower. Be careful not to cut into the tower with your pinkies and make it too skinny. You could lose the whole top of it. You can also place your hands on the left and right side of the tower and gently work the clay upwards. All of your hand movements should be slow and controlled. The wheel does all the moving for you. Any sudden erratic movements will knock the clay off center. But a slow controlled hand will gain control of the clay. Do not jab the clay suddenly like DJ Scribble. Try to keep your hands slow and steady, firm and in control.